How are you today? So before we start our class, please all rise and let us pray. Um, Jay, can you lead the prayer? Very good. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us healthy body and sound mind. We thank you for another opportunity to learn. Bless us with wisdom to understand our lessons and the joy to learn with our classmates. Bless also our teachers as they impart to us the value of learning. Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jane, for leading the prayer. Good morning, class. How are you today? Are you all doing good? Mm, okay. So, who is absent this morning? Mm, mm, mm. Okay. There's no one. I like that. You are all active in my class. Okay. Let us all stand. And prepare yourself because we are going to dance. <laughs> for participating our dance so let us proceed for our lesson for today about compares and arranges decimal numbers but before we proceed to our lesson for today let us review our lesson yesterday so yesterday we tackle about rounding decimals to the nearest thousands so, for this example, what do you think is the correct answer for this question? 0 0.1278 to the nearest thousands. A, 0 0.128. B, 0 0.126. C, 0 0.127. And lastly, D, 0 0.100. 29. So, what is your answer? The correct answer is letter A. The digit in thousands place is 7. So, the digit to the right of 7 is 8 and 8 is greater than 5. So, we add 1 to 7 to get 8. 
points. 0.1278 rounded to the nearest thousand is 0.128. The learning competencies of our lesson for today is to compare and arrange decimal numbers. Then, may I ask you a question? So, how are you going to arrange the numbers from lowest to highest or highest to lowest? And how are you going to compare decimal numbers? Let us have an example. So, we are going to compare it using the table below. Final number are 0 0.8, 0 0.701. So, let us compare these two numbers. So, 0 0.8 has two digits, while 0 0.701 has four digits. To compare the two numbers, let's add two zero to the first number so that it will become four digits. The number form by adding zero will become 0 0.800. 0 0.701 then we have 0 0.800 0 0.701 now let's take another look the given decimals have the same number of digits which is 4 so what do you think which is which is greater is it 0 0.800 or 0 0.701 in this example 0 0.800 is greater than 0.701. In this symbol, we can write this as 0.800 is greater than 0.701. Since we already know that 7 is less than 8. Okay class, prepare your paper and pencil and let us practice this uh, five examples right uh, greater than less than or equal on the blank to make the sentence true i will give you five minutes to answer this and pass your paper in front if you are done okay i think everyone is almost done please pass your paper now okay let us answer this example raise your hands to answer number 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. For number 1, 3.678 is greater than 3.6. 3.678 has 4 digits, while 3.6 has 2 digits. If we are going to add 0 to the second digits, it will become 3.600. Uh, we write greater than because 7 is greater than 0. That is why 3.678 is greater than 3.600. For number 2, we have 1.45 is greater than 1.38. If we are going to compare, both numbers has the same amount of digits which is 3. In this number, 1.45 is greater than 1.38 because 4 is greater than 3. For number 3, 6.4 is equal to 6.40. The answer with this problem is equal because if we are going to add another 0 to the first number, it will become 6.40. For number 4, it is 6.10 is less than 6.188. So 6.10 has 3 digits while 6.188 has 4 digits. To make it equal, we should add another 1 zero to, to the first number which is 6.10. And in comparing, it is greater than 10. So that is why our answer is 6.10, uh, 6.100 is less than 6.188. For number 5, we have 4.91 is greater than 2.888. 4.91 has 3 digits while 2.888 
has four digits. To make it equal numbers of digits, we should add 4.91 uh, 10 to make it 4.910. Then we are going to compare the value of the first number to the second number. So our answer is 4.910 is greater than 2.888. Let us proceed. So, I will present a new examples on how to arrange decimals from greatest to least and least to greatest. So, class, how are you going to rearrange the decimal numbers from least to greatest? For letter A, it is 6.37, 6.253, 6.34, 6.35, 6.36, 6.52. What do you think is the first lowest number? So, we come up this answer. The first number that is lowest amount is 6.253, 6.340, 6.370, 6.320, and 6.520. For letter B, we are going to rearrange the four numbers into less to greatest. So, the answer would be 5.7,000, 5.2,710, and 5.2,212. Okay, prepare your ball pen and paper. To answer this activity 1 and activity 2. So I will collect your answers later and I will give you 20 minutes to answer this activity. Okay, class, don't forget that in comparing and ordering decimals, line up decimal, write equivalent decimals if necessary. Begin at the left, compare and find the place where the digits are different, compare the digits, order the decimal if there are three or more given decimals from less to greatest or from greatest to less. So in ordering decimals, line up the decimal numbers vertically so that their decimal points are exactly one above the other. If a number does not have decimal point, we place the decimal point at the end. Zeros are added to the right of the decimal number so that all of them have the same number of decimal places. Fill in the empty squares with zeros. The digits that with the same place value are compared starting from the left and all the numbers. If the digits are equal, Move to the next column to the right until one number wins. The number with a bigger digit in the same place value decides the bigger decimal number. So that is all for today and I will give you your assignment that will pass tomorrow morning. Once again, thank you and goodbye.